is Sarah Sharp Fellows. My husband was Rear Admiral, upper half. That means two stars. Frederick Gale Fellows, Jr., United States Navy. Let's see, when, when we were married, he was a Lieutenant JG, so, and, and in flight training. Uh, he, he finished flight training at Corpus Christi and got orders to a squadron in Jacksonville, Florida. That was his first duty station. Uh, we were there for four years, actually. That was, that was a pretty long time to be in, in one place, but it was a good tour. And there were, a lot, uh, there were several of his academy classmates who were in the same squadron, which was nice. And the wives had fun together. From there, he became aide and flag lieutenant to the uh, commanding of the, the commandant of, of naval aviation in Pensacola. His name was Admiral Robert Goldthwait. And we were there for about two years. And then it was back to another squadron in Jacksonville, Florida, uh, VF-11. By then, he was a lieutenant commander because he had been selected early by one year. Um, we, from there, we went to the Army Commander General Staff College in Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. And we were only there for about, not quite a year, but we had um, vibrations that kind of told us that he was headed for Vietnam. And sure enough, he got orders out of um, Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, to San Diego, and uh, he did refresher training in the RAG there. Uh, in the, he was flying the Crusader at that time. And we finished that up and wound up in, and, and then he became the operations officer for the commanding officer of the air group, whose name was Billy Phillips. And Captain Phillips and Ted uh, kind of split things up. Well, Captain Phillips made the decision that he was going to stay with the fighter pilots down in San Diego. So Ted went up with the uh, attack pilots in Lemoore, California. And it was a, another time of uh, kind of anxiety and um, excitement, but a little nervous worry underneath the whole thing. But anyway, the, the air wing deployed on the Ticonderoga and that was Chad's first tour. That was the first combat tour in Vietnam. So he came back safely from that. But during all this time, his, his younger brother, Jack Fellows, Captain Jack, uh, was a prisoner of war in Hanoi. And you know, the Hanoi Hilton, I, I don't think he started out in the Hanoi Hilton, but he was moved there after a couple of years somewhere else in the country. And uh, Jack was an attack pilot. He, was, he flew A-6s. And um, the, the, he was flying near the town of Vin, V-I-N-H, when anti-aircraft fire uh, shot him down. And he and his uh, I think they called uh, the, the George Coker was his bombardier navigator. So the two of them went down. Uh, they were captured in different places, I think, but wound up in Hanoi um, for a good number of years. Jack was flying from the Constellation, USS Constellation, and it was, um, he was. He was a POW for seven years. Jack was shot down in 64, yes, 1964. So that was always in the back of everybody's mind, particularly their mother's mind, because Jack was a POW and Ted was actively flying over North Vietnam and 
it was it was difficult for her. But anyway, he he thoroughly enjoyed it. He loved. I, I won't say he loved combat, but he he got, I guess, uh, adrenaline rush or something like that, because he recall always recalled it as being kind of thrilling. Uh, and then, well, the the air wing came back home. Unfortunately, they left a few in the POW camps. Most every air wing did those days. And from there, it was back across the country to Oceana Naval Air Station. He checked in as the executive officer of VF-102, Fighter Squadron 102.